Hello and welcome back everybody. We're going to start off by writing out our fours, our sixes, and our sevens. I'm going to give you a minute to do them. If you need more time than that, you can always push pause on the video. So the very first thing I'd like you to do is write out your fours, then your sixes, then your sevens. If there are any of them that you don't remember, you can always copy them from the screen. On your mark, get set, go. I'm not quite done, so go ahead and finish while I do it. All right, and the reason why we keep writing these out is so our brain remembers them. What we're going to do is we're going to chant each chant twice. Here we go. We're going to do our fours first. 4, 8, 12, 16, hey. 20, 24, 28, okay. 32, 36, 40, that's right. 44, 48, we're counting fours all night. One more time as I erase it. 4, 8, 12, 16, hey. 20, 24, 28, okay. 32, 36, 40, that's right. 44, 48, we're counting fours all night. Our sixes. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. 36, 42, 48, nerdy. 54, 16, now don't laugh, haha. 66, 72, we're great at sixes math. One more time as I erase it. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, nerdy, 54, 16, now don't laugh, aha, 66, 72, we're great at 6 is math. 7s, 7, 14, 21, now, 28, 35, please don't have a cow, moo, 42, 49, next is the fave, 56, 63, 70, wave, 77, 84, finally we're done, skip counting 7s is really lots of fun. One more time as I erase it. 7, 14, 21, now, 28, 35, please don't have a cow, moo, 42, 49, next is the fave, 56, 63, 70, wave, 77, 84, finally we're done, skip counting sevens is really lots of fun. Nice job everybody. Now, as we do those, you should be chanting also so your brain remembers them, because this is a really good way to memorize all of your math facts. All right, the next thing we're going to do is copy down our eights. I don't expect you to know your eights yet, but what I'd like you to do is go ahead and copy them down as I write them, and then I'm going to go over the chant. Now, just like we did with the fours, the sixes, and the sevens, whenever I start to erase anything now, I'm going to chant the eights. I do that because a brain does not memorize something just once. You need to do it many, 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 many times before you remember it. Okay? So go ahead and copy these down. And I'm going to go through this chant. 8, 16, 24, yes. 8, 16, 24, yes. 8, 16, 24, yes. 32, 40, 48, don't guess. 8, 16, 24, yes. 32, 40, 48, don't guess. 8, 16, 24, yes. 32, 40, 48, don't guess. 56, 64, almost there. 56, 64, almost there. From the top. 8, 
16, 24, yes. 32, 40, 48, don't guess. 56, 64, almost there. 72, 80, comb your hair. 72, 80, comb your hair. From the top, 8, 16, 24, yes. 32, 40, 48, don't guess. 56, 64, almost there. 72, 80, comb your hair. 88, 96, we're counting eights with flair. 88, 96, we're counting eights with flair. I'm gonna chant that once all the way through. Here we go. 8, 16, 24, yes. 32, 40, 48, don't guess. 56, 64, almost there. 72, 80, comb your hair. 88, 96, we're counting eights with flair. Nice job. I'm gonna go ahead and erase that, and I'm gonna chant it as I do. 8, 16, 24, yes. 32, 40, 48, don't guess. 56, 64, almost there. 72, 80, comb your hair. 88, 96, we're counting eights with flair. Nice job, everybody. The next thing I'd like you to do is to write out this problem. 2,364 times seven. Now, we've been doing the place value method, which is the one with the box, and you write the numbers up top in expanded form. We're not gonna do that one this lesson. I'm gonna review the standard form. This standard form is most common at the end of fourth grade and in fifth grade. So here we go. There's a lot less to write out and you don't have to add anything at the very end. The very first one you're gonna do is seven times four. You always start with the number at the bottom and the ones place, so seven times four. Seven, 14, 21, now 28. 28 is a two digit number. I'm gonna put my eight down here. And just like when we add, we're gonna put our two up here. But I want you to put a plus two, okay? So when you look at it, the two and the eight should make 28 if you read it that way, okay? Next, we're gonna do seven times six. Seven, 14, 21, now 28, 35, please don't have a cow, move, 42. Seven times six is 42, but we have this number up here. This number up here, we always put a plus sign to remember to add it. So we have 42, 43, 44. 44 is a two digit number. So I'll put down my four and I'm gonna carry my four here. And then it's the same thing. Seven times three, seven, 14, 21. And then we're gonna add 22, 23, 24, 25. I'm gonna put my five down here, and then I'm gonna carry my two again. So each time you should see the number, 28, 44, 25. Finally, we're gonna do seven times two, seven, 14. Then add 15, 16. The benefit of doing this method here is that it's faster. The reason why you do this method is because your teacher wants you to understand that here you're not multiplying seven times six. You're multiplying seven times 60, seven times 300, seven times 2000, okay? That's why you learn the place value method first. But this method is the one that is the most efficient and it has less mistakes, okay? So next lesson, we're gonna start doing that for all our multi-digit multiplication. All right, here we go. I'm gonna chant as I erase. Eight, 16, 24, yes. 32, 40, 48, don't guess. 56, 64, almost there. 72, 80, comb your hair. 88, 96, we're counting eights with flair. Nice job. The very next thing I'd like you to do is to copy down this number. I'd like you to read this number for me, please, if you would. What does this number say? 247,058. Nice job. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to go ahead and write that in expanded form. On your mark, get set, 
go. Nice job. Here we go. That's 200,000. So you need five zeros behind it because there are five digits behind the two. You need 40,000 because there are four digits behind the four. You need 7,000 because there's three behind the plus 50 plus eight. Go ahead and check your work and see how you did. I'm going to go ahead and erase this and chant my eights. 8, 16, 24, yes. 32, 40, 48, don't guess. 56, 64, almost there. 72, 80, comb your hair. 88, 96, we're counting eights with flair. Nice job. What I would like you to do is to go ahead and draw a picture of this mixed number and put it on a double line four and one half. I want you to draw a picture with the fraction bars and put it on a number line. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. On your mark, get set, go. Nice job. So here, to make up the four holes, we need to color in four fraction bars that are each split into two pieces. I know they have to be split into two pieces because my denominator is two. And then here, I'm just gonna color in one. So this is one, two, three, four, and one half. Here on the number line, four will be my first number, five will be my second. I'm gonna split it in half, put my dot, and that's four and one half. Nice job. And just a reminder, to turn this into a, an improper fraction, we would do four times two, four, eight, and then add the one, nine. So as an improper fraction, it would be nine over two. Nice job. Let's go ahead and erase this, and then we're gonna practice changing mixed numbers into improper fractions. Eight, 16, 24, yes. 32, 40, 48, don't guess. 56, 64, almost there. 72, 80, comb your hair. 88, 96, we're counting eights with flair. Nice job. Okay, everybody, go ahead and copy these down. We're just gonna do three of them, and then I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to change them into mixed numbers. I'm sorry, you're gonna change the mixed numbers into improper fractions. Remember, you're gonna multiply the whole number times the denominator, then add the top. On your mark, get set, go. Nice job. Here we go. Three times seven, seven, 14, 21, 22, 23. My answer is 23 over seven. If you don't know your sevens yet, you can chant your threes. Four times six, six, 12, 18, 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. 29 over six. 5 times 3, 5, 10, 15, 16. I added the top. Nice job. So 27 seven, I'm sorry, 23 sevenths, 29 sixths, 16 thirds. I'm going to chant now. 8, 16, 24, yes. 32, 40, 48, don't guess. 56, 64, almost there. 
7280, comb your hair. 8896, we're counting each with flair. Nice job. All right, I'm going to give you an improper fraction to change into a mixed number. 27 over 4. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to go ahead and answer that problem. Don't forget, you're going to put 27 on the inside and put 4 on the outside. On your mark, get set, go. Nice job, let's count by four until we get to 27 without going over. Four, eight, 12, 16, hey. 20, 24, 28. 28 is too high. So five, six. Four times six. Four, eight, 12, 16, hey. 20, 24. So 27 minus 24. Seven, six, five, four, three. So my answer is six and three fourths. Don't feel badly if you're still struggling with this. Remember, this is one of the toughest things that you're gonna learn how to do, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and chant as I erase. Eight, 16, 24, yes. 32, 40, 48, don't guess. 56, 64, almost there. 72, 80, comb your hair. 88, 96, we're counting eights with flair. All right. Now we're going to get into decimals. If you remember, when there's a decimal, we say and. This place value is the tenths. The next one is the hundredths. And finally, we have the thousandths. Now, when we talk about place value in decimals, we've been talking about them in standard form. So for example, can you write 7 tenths? 7 tenths means you have a 0, the decimal, and the 7. Okay? But in reality, decimals are another way of writing fractions. Okay? So you can very easily change decimals into fractions. All you have to recognize is how many numbers are behind the decimal. Here's the 7. This is 7 tenths because there's one number, one zero, 10 has one zero, tenths. To change this into a fraction, all you have to do is write the number behind the decimal. So when I say behind the decimal this way, the 7, and then say the place value, tenths. So this is a fraction 7 tenths. If we were to change a fraction into a decimal, I have four tenths. To write that as a decimal, I would write four. Put the decimal, I would write zero, the decimal, and then the four in the tenths place. So when we do this, each place value is its own fraction. So if there are two numbers, such as 16 hundredths, to change that into a fraction, it would be 16 over 100. Two zeros, two place values. Five hundred and seventy-three thousandths would simply be 573 over 1,000. So when you make a fraction from a decimal, you just have to add 10 to the bottom, 100 to the bottom, or 1,000 to the bottom. Let's practice a few more of those, okay? So it doesn't matter the numbers. It matters how many are behind the decimal. So let me give you an example. If I have one-tenth, one number, it's going to be one over ten. 
This here is not one tenth. This number, this decimal, is one hundredth because there are two numbers. So when I write it as a fraction, it would be one over a hundred. And here would be the same thing. I have three numbers behind the decimal, so that means thousandths. So when I write it as a fraction, it would be one over a thousand. Okay? So go ahead and take a look at that. And this is where we're going to end today. Thank you so much for all your attention. There's more practice available after the video. And we're going to be practicing this fractions and decimals for the next few lessons. You have a good rest of your day. Thank you for your attention. Bye now.